Hello, welcome to Medan Computer Training Channel. We are so glad that you join us to learn something very interesting in this tutorial. I will also have to welcome you to Microsoft Excel. We will be learning so much, so I will really want you to pay close attention as we start from the beginner stage in order to learn together. So in this segment, we are going to learn how to start Excel the user interface of Excel, the Excel options, how to create a workbook, what is actually the workbook, how to open a workbook, saving a new workbook, and many more, even closing a workbook, how to hide a given ribbon using uh, magnifications or to zoom in tools and exiting Excel. So that will cover in the first segment of our tutorial in Excel. Excel is uh, actually a spreadsheet, as earlier mentioned. It's actually the one of the application software. Excel, it allows you enter numbers, values, or data into a row or a column of a sheet. And use these numbers that you have entered to calculate, to make a graph even to handle a statistical analysis and many more. All right, now let's learn how we can open Excel. I am using Windows 10, all right? So I am using the Excel 2016. First, can come to start, can see my start here. Click on start, type Excel, E-X-C-E-L. You can see the Excel 2016. That is one way you could open Excel. Just click enter or you click on it, it will open. Alternatively, if you, if you have it on your desktop, just look for it on my desktop. You can see it here. You could open it here. Well, you could as well have it on the, a taskbar. A taskbar, if you could check my taskbar, you will see it at the bottom here. So you could click on it. So we have seen several methods in which we can open Excel. So now let's take one of these. We are going to take the one on our desktop. I'm just double clicking on it. When it opens, in most cases, it start with home. And in a home, it gives you an opportunity to open a new sheet. This is called workbook. So you could open a workbook. All right. So we have learned how to open a search. The next one is for us to understand this user interface. As earlier mentioned, we are using Excel 2016. All right, so on the top most part of it here is refers to as title page. That is where the name of the sheet will appear. The workbook anytime you save, for example, let me save this. Suppose I save it with, um, all right, let me choose desktop for example I'm saving it with um, sample as soon as I save it with sample if you notice on my title bar you will see that it has changed sample so that is that is where the sheet name appears beneath here is the tabs different tabs you can see them one after the other menu inserts formula data don't worry, we are going to learn it together to know the function of each of these tab and how they can benefit. You can also call refer menu bar. Why at the ending you have this part that says, tell me what you want to do. Type for example, you want to do sum. So you can just type there sum. As you type sum, it's going to give you options to choose. One of it is you want to learn how to sum. Or do you want me to open the environment? And all these are found under that section. When you come down here, here we have ribbon. All these environment are refers to as ribbons. Okay, that is ribbon area. So take note of that. It is very important because we are going to refer to all the time and time again. This particular point is refers to as number box. Number box. At the number box is where you see the cell's name. That means this is called cell. Each one that is highlighted, each of them are called cell. You can see. So 
any cell i click if you observe on that particular number box you realize that it changes you notice that it changes so that is called number box so however coming down this way is where we have formula formula bar formula bar that is where you can see the formula you type and you can even edit any formula or any figure or value you have in a particular cell so that is called formula bar this is what we refer to as column letter where we have a b c d down down that is refers to as column letter what about the active cell how do you know the active cell the active cells are often highlighted differently you can see in this case this is what k14 how do you know the cell that is active the cell that's active is shown here name box is actually showing the cell that is active that is called active cell so the intersections of the columns and row are referred to as cell here we have roll number in a 2016 over 1 million rolls and over 16,000 columns can be found in just a single sheet at the bottom we have sheet one sheet one there is actually refers to a sheet tab sheet tab you can create more by clicking on the plus a click on the plus will create you more sheet if you click on the plus you keep creating 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 you can create as many as you. but as we progress in this tutorial we'll learn why we should not create it unnecessarily so you can actually rename the sheet by clicking on the sheet to rename right click on it when you right click look carefully you see rename rename you can just say someone okay for example one if that should be the name as soon as you press enter so we have learned much about the user interface in excel so i hope we will be able to follow along as we make progress to know more so if you like what you have seen please subscribe like and share this video and help others too to learn what you have enjoyed or you can visit us at our website at maidancomputertrainingchannel.com so that you can benefit much more from our numerous tutorials. Thanks so much. Hope to see you in our next tutorial.